Cardigan Mountain School offers a close-knit community that prepares middle school boys in mind, body, and spirit for responsible and meaningful lives in a global society. To achieve this mission, we reward effort and accomplishment, helping each boy realize his academic, physical, and personal potential through the integration of the following core values in all aspects of daily life. Compassion, be kind. Seek to understand others and go out of your way to help. Integrity, be honest. Remain true to yourself and your word. Be considerate, care for yourself, others, and Cardigan Mountain School. Courage. Be brave. Face adversity with strength and persistence. You've just heard the mission statement of Cardigan Mountain School, along with our four core values, compassion, integrity, respect, and courage. This is what we come here to celebrate, the opening of another year to live the Cardigan way, as a community, as people, who are a part of something greater than ourselves. It gives me great pleasure now to introduce our speaker for tonight's ceremony, a woman who has embodied our values during her time as a Cardigan parent and faculty member. Tonight, she will do double duty, for not only is she hosting us as the Director of Spiritual Life, but she has also graciously accepted my request to be our main speaker. That itself should tell you something about her character. She is kind and caring, but also brave. She is considerate, but not afraid to tell you the truth. Already and on different occasions, she has inspired many of us in this chapel by opening her soul to us and reminding us what is truly important. The year is fresh and I am thrilled knowing how much we will learn from her as a community. At Cardigan, we talk a lot about leadership, and we have our handful of exceptional leaders on the point. Our speaker today, while quiet and humble, exemplifies leadership by example, the most important kind of leadership, I think. She does so with humility and grace, and I am grateful to have her as a role model for all of us. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Borek. Thank you, Mr. Novak, for that kind introduction. In the beginning, God created, Genesis 1.1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Hebrews 12.1. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Nelson Mandela. Good evening, Cardigan community, and welcome to chapel. And thank you for your patience in getting seated. I know we're going to straighten that out and make it smooth. Uh, for the future, but great job um, being flexible tonight. Um, chapel, both this physical structure and the event itself, is where our community will meet every week to pause, reflect, and learn from one another in ways perhaps no other space on campus or moment in time can afford. It is where we come together to hear each other's stories, to listen to music that inspires and comforts, and to grant our individual and collective spirits permission to expand and soar. Though there are many faiths represented here by all of you, under this roof we are one community, all striving, seeking, searching for meaning. My hope for you is that you will come to love this time and this place as much as I do. I also acknowledge that this goal cannot be achieved without your input and help. More on that at a future chapel. The first reading you heard today was from Genesis, the first book of both the Jewish, Jewish Torah and the Christian Bible. In the beginning, God created. In fact, the word Genesis means origin, start, or beginning. It is also interesting to note that the genesis of our school year here at Cardigan coincides with Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, which brings a close to the year 5778 and welcomes in year 5779. It makes sense to begin at the beginning then, does it not? 
But I also believe we cannot start until we first look ahead. Stephen Covey writes in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, that one important habit is to begin with the end in mind. And that is what I hope we will do here today in this chapel, to look ahead to the kind of men you will become by introducing our community theme for this year. In the biblical story of creation that proceeds from the opening scripture I read earlier, we hear that God was orderly. He didn't first create cows and then grass, or fish and then the sea. He had a plan. He began with the end in mind. Here at Cardigan, we have order too. We get up. We make our beds, brush our teeth, put on the correct colored socks. We set ourselves up for a successful day by doing the little things right. Because as Mr. Day is wont to say, the little things are the big things. Today, your administrators, teachers, and staff begin with the end in mind by asking you a critical question. What sort of men do you wish to become in the following months? It's not an easy question to answer. But fortunately, our wise Cardigan founders have given us direction, some very specific guideposts that all of us can look to as we help uh, to seek you, we help you to seek answers for this question. Some of your student leaders just shared the Cardigan mission statement and four core values that shape and inform everything that we do. They help to point us to the end that we have in mind. Two years ago, the theme which guided us here was pride of place, and last year, it was who are we? Perhaps you might have noticed that each theme grew progressively more intimate, from the environment surrounding us to our personal selves, and now, this year, to the very deepest place inside of us all, our heart. We will be focusing our attention this year on the core value of courage, and our theme for this year will be the courageous heart. Courage is an interesting and critical core value because in many ways you cannot demonstrate the other core values without first having courage. It takes courage to be compassionate to a homesick cardigan brother, courage to have the integrity to approach an adult about a problem in your dorm, courage to model respectful behavior on the athletic field when one's opponent may not be. So what does it mean to have a heart of courage? Billy Graham, the legendary evangelist, once told the story of his good friend, a man named George, who was an excellent marksman. George was a deputy sheriff and needed to requalify for duty on the firing range by hitting a target 25 yards away. He had 18 seconds to get off 12 shots, and at the trial, he drew a bead, that is, he took aim with his gun on the distant target as he got ready to shoot. However, and unfortunately, George had just gotten new glasses, and in his nervousness, he began to perspire, fogging up the lenses, thus preventing him from seeing the target. George tells the rest of the story in this way. There I was with a bead drawn on the target, but all I could see was fog. Then I remembered what our old Navy instructor, instructor had taught us. If, for some reason, you ever lose sight of the target, just remember your position. So I just held my position and pulled the trigger as fast as I could. By then I had less than 18 seconds, but I got off all 12 shots. When I took off my glasses and wiped them, I had hit the bullseye every time. What had George done? How had he managed to be, a, to be successful despite the adverse circumstances that conspired to make him fail? He began with the end in mind. He pictured the target. He courageously held his position. What challenges await you this year at Cardigan? What setbacks or adversity might confront you as you steer your course through studies, athletics, or relationships? What fears have you brought with you that you must face and conquer? Courage means that we must be strong when adversity comes, and it will come. There will come a time, perhaps in the not too distant future, when you will not feel like making your bed, waiting your table, or writing your English paper. You might be tempted to make a bad decision and then think that covering it up, or perhaps even lying about it, will allow you to proceed with no loss to your character. And here at Cardigan, you are free to make that choice. But remember that true freedom does not lie in the exercise of choices, but in the consequences of the choices made. You are free, but a bad choice can bind you. When you tell a lie, you are bound to remember that lie, whereas truth comes with no such burden. You may be tempted to take something from one of your fellow Cardigan brothers, but the fear of being caught will continually haunt you. 
whereas going without that coveted item comes with no such weight. A heart that navigates with courage is a heart that is free. For some of you, it took all the courage in the depths of your being to step onto that plane and fly halfway across the world to this tiny community. I applaud you, I really do. For others, you had to muster the courage to walk across your dorm room, hold out your hand, and introduce yourself to your roommate and his parents. Courage does not look the same for everyone, but I believe that every one of you possesses courage. Over the course of the next year, we may ask things of you that you might feel unqualified, unworthy, or unwilling to give. Pick up those cones, sort your trash, stand up for your weaker brothers. Whether you are a new student or a returner, title leader or someone just learning what it means to lead, a rebel or a conformist, declare your intentions now. Decide now that you will meet these requests as the honorable men that you are. Remember all the young man, men who have gone before you, this great cloud of witnesses that over the years have sat exactly where you are sitting, fought the battles that you were about to fight, met the challenges with courage and grace. One day you will become part of that great army of brothers and no one will be able to take that away from you. So let's begin with the end in mind. Hold your position, men. Aim at the target. Grow your courageous hearts. Be brave and run your race with perseverance. The adults that surround you are here, cheering you ever on to victory. We believe in you. I believe in you. Thank you. And now please welcome Mr. Day, our head of school. Thank you, Ms. Port, uh, for starting our year in such a fantastic fashion. I can say that uh, we all look forward to uh, learning with you in this uh, wonderful place. Welcome, Cardigan community, with the exception of a few boys who are still en route uh, and uh, facing some delays, uh, we are complete after a long couple of days of, of getting here. And as Ms. Borick said, some of you are uh, probably a little sleepy right now or ready for breakfast or we're, I don't know where your body clocks are, but uh, know that uh, we're all together, you're exactly where you need to be, and you're home, even though you're away from home. You're home. You're at your cardigan home, and you're part of your cardigan family. I want to welcome you to the 2018-2019 opening ceremony of Cardigan Mountain School. Welcome to all of our students who have just returned to the point. I hope you've enjoyed your summers, and I know that you're ready for having an outstanding school year. And as Mr. Novak said at the beginning, this is the time for the fresh start, the reset. You get to decide how your year begins, no matter where you ended up last year. Welcome to all of our faculty, those who are returning and those who are new to the community. Thank you for your commitment to the boys in your care. And most especially, welcome to our new students. We will all strive to make your transition to Cardigan as smooth and successful as possible. And when you need help, please ask, and help will be there for you. Let us all set a goal this year to make Cardigan as welcoming a community as possible. I wish you best wishes and good luck to every member of our community for a year filled with learning and growth. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce uh, our, director of, our musical director, Mr. Kevin Franco to lead us in the card singing of the Cardigan Hall. Thank you very much, Mr. Day. I invite you all to now rise as we sing the Cardigan Hymn for the first time of the year. And I encourage you to follow along with your brothers in song.
Now please join me in prayer or silent reflection. May you go out in joy and be led forth in peace. May the mountains and hills break forth into song before you and the trees of the field clap their hands. Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your curtains wide, do not hold back. Lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes. For you will spread out to the right and to the left. Do not be afraid. Amen. <laughs>